Make sure to be a member on the channel, link is in the description. Hello once again guys, it's Matt and today we have another video. Let's thank our members as always. Silami, Lafouche, uh, Vivi, Astropub, Patrick, everybody. Thank you. Uh, be a member if you want to help the channel. Subscribe and let's uh, and join your disc our Discord as well. So let's get into it. So today we're going to talk a little bit, uh, not too long of a video, uh, 10 minutes or something. Um, basically talk a little bit of a, a, a well-known problem in War Thunder community, which is the BR compression. And the reason why the F104 is kind of dead right now, you know. Uh, to be honest, you have a way to play with this aircraft that is um, like competitive, but to be honest, it's most of the time you will be ended up dying a lot with these type of aircraft. So we have four of them: uh, the F-104G for the Germans, the Italians, and the Chinese, and the F-104J uh, for the Japanese. But they are basically the same, which uh, just changing some. Uh, like changing some little stuff like the amount of missiles that they get but they got all the same missile the m9j uh the amount of flares if they have flares uh you know it's stuff like that so uh especially the chinese one and the japanese one they are especially affected by this uh because you know uh, they were all 10.3 at once uh i think the f104j was actually 10.7 for a while or something like that. I don't remember exactly when these stuff happened actually uh, But they were 10.3 and they were kind of OP in 10.3. They were very good at 10.3 uh, But they ended up being up. I mean they, they up the BR of the aircraft Being 10.7 all of them are 10.7 right now and because of the way that the system works You get a lot of up tiers and these aircraft in up tiers are not good you know even in down tiers they're not the most amazing thing ever uh, they're really a niche kind of thing uh, you can play well with them but uh, they are kind of problematic sometimes uh, I'm showing a little bit on the FRJ right now which is the Japanese one uh, but the, um, the the G the Chinese one the G variant also uh, is the, basically the same aircraft as this uh, they have four M9Js and RPs and they have no flares so especially these two are very affected by this it's really hard to evade missiles you can but it's really hard in this br and it is and the missiles are not the most amazing thing ever anyway you know uh as you see on these f104 uh but yeah it's just a matter of uh, learning how to use the aircraft i'm not the most amazing pilot in this aircraft to be honest as well but still uh it is a kind of problematic aircraft uh, I was actually going to show on how it is difficult to actually fly in top tier with it but it's sometimes even hard to fly in down tiers as you're going to see in the next clip I'm going to evade a missile first here um, as you see obviously the SPS I cannot outturn him so I try to outrun him but he launched the missile so I make sure to row and the missile just ran back but yeah I couldn't avoid the F8 missile uh, because it burned for a long time so and here we have the F-104G uh, the Italian one uh, so yeah I think the German one and the Italian one are actually the good ones because they have flares it means so much if you have flares or not and I really think that the F-104G and the G for the Chinese should not be a 10.7 I mean they are just weird uh, but I understand why they are kind of you know uh, the thing is as I was going to say the problem is the BR compression because if you put it in a lower BR, they will stomp a lot of aircraft. Um, and if you uh, get the BR higher than it is, uh, you will just get stomped by the up tiers. So the F-14s and MiG-23s and stuff like that. So it is just a matter of a kind of a tight place that the aircraft is actually, you know. Uh, so it is funny that and many aircraft have the problem, this problem. Uh, but it is... A thing that affects the two uh, F-104s that I told you about a lot. And yeah, uh, even with that, it's a very fun aircraft to fly, very fast. But not as fast as you would think, actually. So uh, here we have a MiG-21 SPS following me. And as, you, as you're going to see, he 
he's he's catching catching me because he was in a dive and stuff like that. So I was thinking like, oh, all right, he's he had more speed than I did uh, before we started climbing. But it doesn't matter. I'm going to climb to more than 10,000 km uh, meters meters, and then I will just level it out, and I will be a rocket, and I will just uh, get away from him. Uh, but that's a thing that just doesn't happen, you know. Uh, he's probably shooting our 60s at me, so this is very dangerous. I almost died there. Uh, but it's a matter that you you basically don't have anything to do against an aircraft like that. If they can catch you, uh, there is basically a GG kind of situation. Only if you outperform your your aircraft, you know. You you really have a close intimate uh, relationship with the aircraft and actually know the aircraft very well you can make them overshoot and get them by surprise but it is a matter of it's problematic you know the, if, even though the f 4 has a very very good roll rate uh, it can be a problem to do that sometimes so yeah consider that as well uh, but as you're going to see here uh, at the start obviously i had a jump start uh, on the returning uh, to the battlefield kind of situation so at the start i was actually just getting away from him uh, because that it's kind of what you do in an f 4 you know just try to run a lot you are a faster aircraft in general and you are a 10.7 aircraft even though you have flares and chef and you have two missiles and stuff uh, make sure to check the mig-21 behind me as you're going to see after a while yeah he's starting to catch me and he will eventually catch me, which is, yeah, it's a problem. Uh, this aircraft is actually 10.0 against me. And I know he doesn't have flares, but so is the F-04J. He still doesn't have flares as well. Uh, he has two missiles. I have two missiles, uh, even four uh, to the German one. So, uh, to be honest, I think the German one would be the most 10.7 kind of thing aircraft that we have here even with the Italian one following closely behind it uh, but the F-104J man and the F-104G from the Chinese they are not supposed to be 10.7 man they're just not that good uh, to be flown flown in that you really need to learn the aircraft and try to do some stuff I'm trying to turn the best I can but it's just a matter of time until he get me and I almost ended up getting him uh, with the with the reversal there, but I was going to die anyway. So yeah, the SPS actually catched me and I decided to just try to turn away. I was kind of mad at that because I really didn't know that the SPS could do that. And cheers for the SPS actually, I mean, fast aircraft, right? Um, and here we have a kind of a top tier situation with the best of them all, the f 4 g from the Luftwaffe, the German one which is actually the better one because it has the flares and it has the M9Js or P's or whatever uh, and this makes it so that it's the actual one that it's actually 10.7 material really 10.7 material you know uh, it is still fast but it, most of the aircraft that you fight fight will out, out accelerate you and out uh, run you and they will out turn you most of the time as well so uh, yeah it's problematic right problematic uh, as you see the missiles got a buff uh, Friday I think they don't wobble so much right now so you ended up having more range on them but still it's not enough to get these F-14 eventually I will get him with the um, with the cannon as you see but uh, yeah it's just a matter that the F-14 didn't know what he was doing actually if he tried to just air braked and turned he would make me uh, like go to overshoot you know uh, like this one so the way that you get normally fighters with this uh, and win dogfights and stuff is just getting people by surprise and trying to stay fast and basically being lucky because it is not a very fun aircraft to fly I mean it, it's very fun but uh, what I mean is it's not a very easy aircraft to fly you know uh, it is very unique and I like about it uh, but it doesn't have the speed or the missiles to actually face uh, these top tier stuff and even down tier stuff like the SPS I got killed by it so yeah the one thing that actually is very it's great about this aircraft is the cannon obviously the, the Vulcan is very easy to use but uh, even with that it's a very unique and very hard aircraft to see 
um, to fly. Uh, as you see, you don't see a lot of them flying. So yeah, that's basically why they changed the BR a couple of uh, months ago, I think, or week, three week months ago. I don't know. And it's like this. So I hope you enjoyed, and I see you guys on the next one.